Hello beautiful and welcome to a little try on haul. I did a video not too long ago where I was talking about some fashion pieces in the luxury department that I added to my collection to celebrate my 40th birthday that I had in January. And now I actually was like, you know what? I wanna show you what things I added to my collection for this season. This is gonna be January, February, and March in like the fashion department that I added to my collection for spring, summer so far. And also some more like staples that I added in and I also bought some things because I am going on a trip. Actually, I'm going on a trip next week. I'm going to New Orleans with some friends and I wanted to get some dress options to wear when I was there. And I thought it'd be fun for me to sit down and just talk about the things that I've added and why I add them. And these are two things that I always think about when I buy clothes. One is I need to be able to dress it up and I need to be able to dress it down. I need to buy pieces that work both every day and pieces that I'm like, oh, I could go to dinner in this. And of course, what I, I'm not a, I don't do sequins, sparkles, bejeweled, bedazzled ruffles. That's not my journey most of the time. So for me, the things that I like to go to dinner to, it's not necessarily like, I don't dress maybe like that, but it doesn't mean that you can't dress something up or dress something down. And for me, it's very important that I feel like I can wear my pieces in both directions, basically, to Target or to a nice restaurant. That's how I need to feel about my pieces. And I always try to think, what do I have at home that I would like to wear with this? I never buy a piece when I think like, oh, to be able to wear this, I need to buy this. Or to be able to wear this the way that I would like it, I need to buy this. I only wear pieces where either I buy the full set when I'm out that day, or when I'm like, I immediately know how I want to wear this with stuff that I already own because there's no point in you buying that perfect skirt where it doesn't fit with anything that you have at home. Like it makes no sense whatsoever. So I tried to think of that as well and also keep that in mind when you're watching this video because I did do a couple of try-ons and I'm going to show you here on the side. Actually, let me scooch a little bit to the side so we can get some, uh, some B-roll up on the side with me showing you how these look on. I just styled these pieces together here, but I didn't necessarily buy these pieces to go together so if you would like me to do another video of me like actually styling some of these things if you want to be like I want to see three ways to style this or I want to see three ways to style that please let me know maybe I can film something like that I just honestly took out all of these things that I bought so far this year and I styled them together do they always make sense in what you're going to see on the side maybe not but <laughs> I hope it somewhat makes sense. The first thing I wanna show you is this shirt that I bought from Never Fully Dressed. I think I have, I think this is the second piece that I have from the brand. They're a fun, quirky, colorful brand. And I have a beautiful lime green, like full length off the shoulder dress I bought from there. I wore that on Christmas when I was on a cruise together with my husband. It was like my Christmas, so my Christmas day or my Christmas Eve dress. I'm not 100% sure, but I really, really love that dress. And this is just a regular, I wanna say that this is just cotton. It feels like cotton. Yes, this is 100% cotton. And this has two of my absolute favorite things, which is orange and paisley. And I also love a button down shirt. I can get the sleeves up, I can have them down. I love, that's one of my signature outfits. And with that, I don't mean outfits that I wear the most with signature outfit for me is outfits that I feel the best in. And for me, a button down shirt tucked into jeans or tucked into a skirt, it's one of my favorite outfits to make me feel my absolute best. And I love that this one is just so cool. It's so me and I absolutely love it. I got this one in a size 36, I think. Yes, this is in Europe 36, which is a US 4. The next thing I have is this short sleeved, um, it's got short sleeve, it's like a little knit. I did cut off actually the tag on this one because it's like see-through, so I cut off the tag. But this one feels like it could be either 100% cotton or close to 100% cotton. That's how it feels. And it has buttons, so you can open it up. And I just showed it here today, but I also have a TikTok where I'm styling this one in three different ways. I love a short sleeve knit. It's one of my favorite pieces to layer if you're living in a warm climate like I am. I'm living in Texas. And also to just wear for like spring like a short sleeve knit. And it's the same with the one that I have on here. This is also from H&M. I'm pretty sure I got both of these in a small. 
Yes, both of these are in a small because I know I bought these two together. And the same here, I have done a video where I'm showing how I would style these in different ways. Short sleeve knit is just my perfect spring or fall weather, like a sweater weather for a Texan. <laughs> And I also, when I used to like work in an office, stuff like this in an office in Sweden is just perfect because it's a little nice and knitted, but it's also short sleeved so it doesn't get too warm indoors. Absolutely love it. And I love stuff like this together with like a jean or a skirt or anything like that. I just, it's just something that I really enjoy wearing. And you've seen me wear these things together with this skirt. I bought this in store at H&M actually, because I saw this on the website. It is like... I don't like I don't like the 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 combat like the cargo pant thing that's come back. I relived that already. I can't do it again. I cannot do that again. I am too old to do the cargo pants again. But a cargo skirt in like almost like a pencil with a little slit like that I can do. It's like a happy compromise. This one, I wouldn't necessarily style this with any of the things that you've seen me wear in this video, but this one with like even like a satin tank top and a pair of heels for dinner. I would love that. This one with just a tucked in t-shirt, sandals, going to the grocery store, going to Target, absolutely perfect. And I love this color and I love the pockets and I just love how this one looks. I'm so, so excited about this one. And I'm happy I bought this one in store because I actually bought this in a size two. US 2, which is a European 34. And I'm usually a size 4, but sometimes I need to size down. So yeah, this one is a size 2, but I love it. I think it's amazing and I've only worn it once so far, but I cannot wait to wear it again. Next thing I have is these jeans that I bought from Sara. I saw these on the Sara website and I immediately knew. I immediately knew that I needed to have them. They are, you know, Capris are coming back. I don't know how I feel about Capris. I don't think I'm gonna be a, Cap no. No, no, we're not doing Capris, but this, I usually do like high waters. Uh, I also have very long legs, so, Sometimes everything turns into that, but I will say these are as close to Caprice as I'm getting, but I love the detail in the back. They have this like almost like a buckle detail in the back and then two red little details. I think that that looks so cool. And I love that there is just a zipper in the front like this and the button is hidden on the back. I hope you can see the button is hidden on the back and there's just a zipper detail. And I just think that these are so cool and they're a little slouchy and they just feel like something so effortless. I've been wearing these. Uh, I went shopping with myself. Oh my God, I love going shopping with myself. You know, you just go to a shopping area, you have lunch, you go to three, four stores and you go home. It's amazing. And I did wear this one to that and I thought it was great. <laughs> I thought it was just a great thing and I wore it with sandals and I absolutely loved it and I love a like a cropped slouchy jean especially if it's not a low rise big fan so immediately when I saw these on the Sara website I knew I needed to get them and these are also a size two so this is also a European 34. This one I've worn in a video and I really, really liked it. I went into, what is this place called again? It is called Free People. I've, I've bought a couple of things from Free People since I moved to the US. This is a bandeau top and it has like silicone on the inside to keep it up a bit. And it is like plaid and it is purple and pink. And then it is stretchy on the backside. And I, it has like this little like ruffle peplum. I don't do pink. It's not my thing, but I love plaid. And I thought that this would be such a cute little compromise. I love a bandeau top. I love a plaid. I don't do ruffles. I don't do peplums and I don't do pink, but this just is a mix of all of it. And I was thinking this is going to be so cute with jeans or shorts and I can see myself wearing this out and about and I can also see I can see myself wearing this to coffee to dinner in different kinds of way with heels with sandals and I love a bandeau top and I just thought this was so cute it's pretty expensive though I think I paid a hundred dollars for this which is crazy bananas but free people is expensive what what's up with that okay 
I, and I know you are going to look at this and you're going to be like, no. <laughs> and I will say in this video, I am not styling this necessarily the way that I would like to style it, but I love a super oversized t-shirt. This one is from called a daydreamer. I bought this off revolve. It is, it says Fort Worth on the front and has like a cowboy. I've been to Fort Worth. It's outside of Dallas and I love a super oversized t-shirt, but super oversized t-shirt. I love wearing that with like a flared leggings or like a flared yoga pants. I love, love that style. Or I love a super oversized t-shirt tucked into something. And I'm also showing you here, tucking this into a skirt. And that's how, how I've been wearing this one. And I realize that people are going to look at this and they're going to be like, this is a weird t-shirt. Why would you hide yourself in a tent like this? But I just like so many different types of clothes and an oversized t-shirt somehow makes me feel really fierce and cool. And it's just one of those silhouettes that I sometimes really, really love wearing. Um, with a really like skinny bottom. So I've been enjoying it. I got it at Revolve. I think it's super cool. I love this like off-white with the burnt orange. I know it's not for everyone, but I've really been enjoying this one and I've been eyeing another one as well that they have this like a white and a yellow print. Okay, speaking of that skirt, this is actually something that I have not worn yet. I got this at Zara at the same time that I got those black jeans that I have been wearing. And this is more of a mini skirt and I haven't really had a good opportunity to wear a mini skirt. I love Paisley but I also love gingham. I love gingham so much and I'm so <laughs> excited that that's back in style, like back in fashion. I need to look for even more gingham pieces before it's out of fashion again. This is like a beige and a dark blue gingham and I absolutely love it. And it is a mini skirt and I usually don't do mini skirts, but I, I just think it is, I just think it's so cool and I love how this one looks and I wore this one with the t-shirt. I also wore it with a, a top that I'm going to show you like a black shirt. I love having a short skirt and tucking something in and it's gingham. I love it. This one I got in a small and I will say it is a smidgen big actually. So I probably should have gotten this one in a extra small, which also like I'm not an extra small. So I don't even know about that, but I got this one in a small and I'm sure I'm going to use it mostly tucking things in. So I don't think we're going to think about that that much, but I love this one. Okay. This is the last thing from Sarah. And this is the one that you saw me tucking into that sh like skirt. I love a short sleeved button down. I've been really, there was a time where I hated that, but then I bought this like printed silk short sleeved button down. And I love, it's like a, almost like a PJ's jacket, but like with short sleeved. And I've, ever since I bought that one, I've been really into short sleeved uh, shirts. And this one is black and it's, it's a cotton one and it has buttons. And this one has like hidden buttons. I think this one is so cool. And this, I worn this with those black jeans that you saw before. I worn it not tucked in over the black jeans with black sandals. I looked like I stepped out of Vogue. I loved that look. I looked expensive. I looked cool. I loved it. But also this one tucked into like a mini skirt, that gingham one. I know that it's going to be something that I'm really going to enjoy. And I think like I'm going to New Orleans and I think I'm going to bring this one to like tuck into a skirt because I feel like I would really enjoy that. So I need to plan my outfits for that a little bit more. But this black short sleeved shirt and I pretty sure this one I also got in. Yeah, this is in a small and I'm pretty sure that this is like just a hundred percent cotton. I would be surprised if it's anything else. hundred percent cotton. Yeah, it's just a really nice crisp cotton shirt, but short sleeved. I did my first ever ever haul or purchase from Cezanne, which is a French brand. And I actually bought it online, but I have learned since then that Cezanne actually opened a pop-up store here in Austin. So that is definitely on my to-do list. It's going to be open until fall, I think. So I'm very excited about that one. And one of the things that I bought and immediately, immediately knew I wanted this. I even set my alarm. This is like a puffy sleeved 
button blouse. It is so cool. I have worn this already three times, tucked into a shirt, tucked into jeans. I have worn it to dinner. I have worn it to the movies. I worn it to Target. It is just such a cool, I love the color. This burnt reddish clayey terracotta with the green and the like off-white details. I just think it is a statement shirt that is still, since it is like, I think this is also a cotton material, since it is, um, yeah, this is actually cotton and linen mix, 51-49%, yeah, that's pretty cool, cotton linen mix, and it feels very luxurious, and it feels thick, and it feels substantial, and since, because of the, the color and because of the mix, it just goes with everything, it looks so good, together with jeans. It looks so good together with other materials. And I'm so happy about this purchase. I think I got this in a size small. I got it in a size 36, which is a, a US 4. And I'm so happy with this one, but it was very expensive. I think, I, I don't know, over $100, but I'm very happy with it. And I need to go to the pop-up shop because it's just so cool. And the other thing I got from Cezanne, which was also very expensive, and this one I actually got in a size 34, which is a US 2. And they said, if you are in between sizes, or if you are uh, thinking about two different sizes, take the smaller size. And this is a pencil skirt in green suede. So this is a suede skirt, and it's open in the front, and it is lined, and it has a zip closure uh, and it's like smells like suede of course but because it is suede i will say it is a smidgen tight not to the point where i can't close it because clearly i could and i still can close it even though i tuck in a shirt but i will say had i been able to try these i probably would have gone up a size although maybe then it would have been too big for me i don't know it still fits me. I just have to wear it even more high-waisted, but the color, the color is beautiful. It feels buttery and so beautiful. And I love the cut of it. I love that it's open in the front. I've still not worn this one. And I don't wanna say I'm waiting for the right occasion because not really, but I actually went to dinner with my husband and I wore that uh, blouse and I should probably have worn it with this shirt, but. We went to dinner very spontaneously. We're like, oh, we should just go to dinner. And I just pulled on a wide pair of jeans with that shirt and I wore my uh, Gucci, the new sliders. And I really liked the outfit. Now looking back, I probably should have worn this skirt just to have it like out and about, but I cannot wait. This is also a really good contender for New Orleans, but I also will say, since this is a suede skirt, I don't know how I would feel with this one if it gets really warm or really humid. So I need to think about if this is like a New Orleans kind of a skirt, but because I haven't worn it out yet, as you can tell. And it is like suede and I don't know, I don't know exactly what the inner material is. I'm guessing like a yeah, 100% viscose. That's the inner material, like the lining. But this is, this is suede and it's glorious. Oh my God, these ones, I even put them back on their hangers. Like, who am I? This is a dress that I bought. Okay, I'm gonna show you four dresses now that I have bought specifically because I think they're gonna be really good for my New Orleans trip. I don't know if I'm gonna bring all four. I don't know if I'm gonna wear all four, but I am very excited about each and every one of these. And I know I'm gonna wear them after the trip as well, but I did buy them specifically for that trip. First one is this, like, it's a silky dress. It is from Show Me Your Moo Moo, and it is in a size small. I do have a dress from them from before, which I really liked. I liked the quality of it. I liked the pattern of it. I liked the fit of it. So when I saw this one, it is like a green, orange, pink, almost like a shell print. And it is a, oh, you can see when I'm wearing it, I am, it's a tie dress. So you tie it in here and you like tie a knot and it's like a wrap dress and it has this little collar and then just an elastic waistband. I am so excited about this dress and it's long sleeve, but still sh a short dress. The colors, the colors are beautiful and so fun. And again, this one, 
This one together with sandals, just to honestly head to Target. This one together with sandals to go for a cocktail. This one with heels, because I'm gonna wear this to an event probably with my Gucci heels, the white ones from the last video. I think it's gonna be just so summery and fun. I'm so excited about this dress. I just think it is so cool. <laughs> Such a cool and different dress, and I don't have anything like this in my in my closet and i feel like this will be one of those i want to look dressed up but not too overly dressed this will be perfect for that and for someone like me who loves color next one and i got that one from revolve and i also got this one from revolve and i haven't worn this yet uh it's still in the tags and this one is it, like i said it is from revolve but it is from a firm i think that's a firm. This is also a small and like I said, I got this from Revolve and it is a ruched dress and it has like this little flower applique and it is a, like a shorter dress. I usually don't do these kind of shorter dress. I usually do dresses that are just below the knee. That's my perfect length. Again, that's my that's when I feel the fiercest, but I wanted to get something that was a little um, a little shorter. We have an event that is gonna be like a cocktail event, and I don't know if I'm gonna wear this one then, or if I'm gonna wear of the other dresses, but I feel like this is gonna be perfect for that. And I also, again, I feel like this, if I get invited to a birthday party, if somebody invites me to a, like a nice dinner, uh, I feel like this will be perfect because it is fun. It is, like you, even if someone, invites me to go out and have drinks. This will be perfect. I could wear this one with my cowboy boots. I could wear this one with sandals and sit outside on a patio having like a sangria. I just, I really like the colors of this one as well, like the purple and the red. I feel like I have so much makeup that would look so good with that as well. And it's very different from anything else that I have in my collection which also made me feel a little bit more, both of these two dresses, very different from everything else that I have in my closet. And sometimes that's fun to add. The next two dresses are from ASOS and these are the newest things in my collection. I just got these and these are very similar to the kind of things that I love to wear. And this one, and both of them are really beautiful, but with this one, okay, this is a dress. This is from ASOS Design. So this is ASOS own brand. This is a US 4 and a European 36. And it is like a slouchy dress that goes off the shoulder. But as you're gonna see in this video where I'm trying it on, there's this dress on the inside that almost shows, and I'm not, sh I don't need that. I don't want the dress on the inside. I just, I think I'm gonna cut this part off. Like just actually like cut it off. Cause I don't want that. I don't want that. Is that weird? I don't want the inner dress. Cause this material is not see-through. It's not a see-through material. I don't need something to like, I don't need to have something to hold me in to feel secure. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this like inner dress this like inner dress that's on the inside and just keep the, the plissé material because I think that material is so cool uh, with the little cinch in the waist and the little ruching. I just don't want that inner dress. I don't like that. So um, I might actually just cut that one out. Can you do that? I was gonna say asking for a friend, but I'm asking for me. <laughs> and the last one is also a dress. It's also from ASOS Design. And again, I have not worn this one. I got this one in a, a EU34 US4 as well. And this is a color and a material that I don't normally get. And actually I have not tried this one on. Um, the, the footage that you're seeing of me trying this on is filmed afterwards because it has a button in the back that I actually need help buttoning with. So I'm gonna have to try this one on uh, when my husband is home and he can help me. But it is like a below the knee, off the shoulder satin, not like a shiny satin. It's almost like a matte satin with a little ruching. I love the blue. It is that blue that I actually like. It's not too pastel. It's almost like a faded jeans. And I feel like it's so, again, the model 
is something that I like. An off the shoulder moment. I love an off the shoulder moment. It's one of my favorite. Again, I feel very secure in that. I feel very comfortable in that. I feel fierce in that. But this blue is a little bit odd, but it also gives me, I'm like, oh, I could do like a blue smoky eye with something like that. Or like a bright red lip would be so cool. So I will say, this one feels a little bit more snug than the other one. Just a smidgen more snug than the other one, but not to the point, again, I can close it. I can wear it. It's not like uncomfortable, but it's definitely a little bit more on the snug side. But I think I'm gonna bring this one too to New Orleans just to be like, as an option for like, wouldn't that be cool? Isn't this like a nice dress? I would feel very, depending on how dressed up everybody else is, I guess. Okay, let me show you the last thing that I bought. And I actually have had two friends in my life that when they saw this piece, they're like, I can't believe it took you this long to buy this. And this, funnily enough, is a pair of Birkenstocks. I like this model of Birkenstocks. It's called the Madrid. It has only one strap, but in, when I wanted to buy this in Europe, all of the Madrid ones had like a big bulky metal piece here. And I wanted this one, the slim piece, because I feel like that's so much better. And I saw that like the slim pieces are back again. And when I saw, when I showed my friend this one, she was like, I can't believe that there are yellow Birkenstocks in the world and it took you this long to buy them. <laughs> and I have two friends that have said that. How is there that there has been yellow Birkenstocks in the world and it took you this long? So this is the Madrid. They are, this has a yellowy brown. You can see it's like a mustard and it has that slim buckle, not the big, bulky one, the slim buckle in gold. It is a white sole, the cork, and then the same color of the mustard on the inside. And it is the, the little uh, slip. And I just think that this is so cool. This is such a nice everyday shoe for me. I love wearing sandals so much. And we are getting into sandal season and I'm gonna be wearing sandals all the way into November. I'm just telling you right now. And I got these in my size, which is the 36, European 36, which I think is like a five and a half. And Birkenstocks does come in the normal wide and then they come in the slim. And I did get the slim one because I have very, very, I have small feet and I have very slim feet. So I got the 36 slim. I'm so excited. I'm definitely bringing these to New Orleans and these are perfect. I've been wanting the Madrids for so long and I can't believe I got in a mustard. It's the stars are aligning in mustard. So yeah, that is the last thing that I bought. And when I bought them, I actually got these matching socks, which they look a little off. They're like really, really long, but yeah, I got matching Birkenstock socks in like a in the orange. Listen, I will wear these. Might even wear them with the sandals. I'm not against it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know if you would like to see some more like fashion content from me. If you would like to see me try on more things, style things. Um, these items that I bought now, if I had not had this trip to New Orleans planned, I probably would not have bought any of those four last dresses, but I'm excited to have some new dresses in my closet and I'm excited to be able, because me and my husband, we do go out to dinner and stuff and I have some new dresses to wear, especially that green one, this, the satin one, that one will be so perfect. The other things are more like, things that I'm like excited to start wearing together with things in my closet. I think that green suede pencil skirt with this and like a spaghetti strap top tucked in, you will see me on a patio in a beer garden in Austin this summer wearing that. I'm gonna look fierce. Anyways, please let me know what you think about this content. I will try and link as many of these items as I absolutely can down below. Some of these things might already be sold out. And if they are, I will at least let you know where I found them. And I hope you're having a great day. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And I will see you soon again in a new video. Bye.